Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. You should definitely consider hitting subscribe before you realise how fucking garbage this content is. And if by chance this is not your first time on the channel, you may want to give your head a wobble. But in either case, thank you very much for being here. I do appreciate you joining me on the channel for this video. For today's video, we're going to be talking about the limited and forbidden list. Now, this is not one of those pretend reactions where I look at the list and go, oh, I'm doing a double backflip. Ain't fucking happening. But what I'm going to do is talk about what I think they got right and what I think they probably could have done a little bit better. To be honest with you, mostly I think the list is actually fine. But we'll get into more of that detail in a moment. Now before we continue, let me apologise if there are any crazy noises in the background. Not only is my pug stuck to me like Velcro, so no doubt he'll waltz into the room any second now and start grunting down the microphone. On top of that, it's fucking windy as anything out there, so you may pick up a bit of weird woo noises in the background. And for a final note before we continue, if you are inspired by this video and you're looking to pick up any Yu-Gi-Oh! singles or any Pokemon ones for that matter, you should check out the channel sponsors Jam Jam Cards UK. There is a link in the description to their eBay store and you'll net yourself a cheeky discount courtesy of yours truly. But anyway, that's enough waffling on from me. Let's talk about what we're here to talk about. So we'll start off by talking about the band. So we've seen VFD go hurrah long overdue. We've seen Utopic Zexel get hit as well. Yes, absolutely. And we've seen Union Carrier go. This one I'm kind of on the fence about. I think the card's kind of broken, but it wasn't being abused necessarily enough for my liking to get it. But maybe that's a weird take on the subject. Now, I think the actual bands, though, most people will agree, were fair to some description. And uh, I think that that's absolutely fine. We can definitely congratulate them on getting that absolutely correct. However, there's two cards I'd like to talk about. The first one being Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga should have been on this list as well. It's another one of those oppressive bullshit cards that don't belong in this game and should have been on there because it's, well, it's one of their motherfuckers that I really don't want to have to play against. However, lots of people are talking about the glaring omission of Dragoon and I'm going to go ahead and say it and say it doesn't need to be banned. Dragoon is doing absolutely nothing. It's all hype and no output. All this card does is give rogue shitty decks a way to play against the meta. That's right, I've gone ahead and said it, and anyone with a fucking brain was thinking it as well. Dragoon is fine. Yes, the card itself is a bit broken, and I can see how that may seem oxymoronic to some of you. But look at the way people are actually playing the card and realise that this really isn't a consistent strategy that anyone at a top level is going to be employing in their decks. Yes, we saw it tear through the OCG and it was problematic there, but it's not problematic here. The fact of the matter is, if you're playing a top-end deck, you're already playing a deck that's super consistent and can pop out consistent, good starting boards from the get-go. Dragoon requires you to play way too many Garnets to be consistent and all for one negate. That is the reality of it, is it becomes one negate. Now, any of the top players would rather play no Bricks, more Extenders, and may borrow load Savage Dragon. So the truth is, the only decks that are really incorporating Dragoon into their strategy are decks that are already full of shit cards anyway. Now, that may not be something you want to hear or something that you agree with, but think about it for a minute. What decks actually play this card? Bad ones. So in my opinion, you can all call for Dragoon to go as much as you absolutely like. Honestly, I don't think it needs to get hit. And now my pugs joined us for the session. Apologies. Honestly though, if you wanted to hit a card that makes Dragoon problematic, you should probably hit Predator Plan Vert Anaconda. If you're going to pick anything out of the bunch that needs to get hit, it's that card. Dragoon in and of itself, yes, it's a very, very strong card, but the setup requirements are just way too much. We've seen other crazy busted cards out there that do all this insane shit and nobody plays them and they never get touched on the list. Why? Because they're simply too difficult and too fucking convoluted to summon. And Dragoon is that. Sure, it's borderline in the fact that, you know, you don't need to necessarily play as many Garnets or as many weird wombo fucking combo jumbly jobby thingy bobbies to get it out, but it is still enough of a deterrence from becoming a top card. Now, honestly, in terms of the banned cards and, you know, all of that good stuff, I think that that's really about as much as there is to discuss on that particular front. So let's talk about the limited changes. So we've seen Ben 10 go to 1. I think this was inevitable. This was always likely to happen. Something that I'd called or suspected may happen in my ban list wish list. And, and to be honest with you, it needed to happen before it became a real issue down the line. 
it does feel like it's one of those cards that's ripe to being abused, so by cutting it back to one, you certainly hit the consistency of people that want to abuse it. Now, I could go on at length about cards I'd like to see go to Limited from Forbidden, but I've done a whole video about that, so I won't bore you with that now. So we start off with Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. This card was a bullshit card that I honestly wanted banned. And the fact that Union Carriers got banned means that it could come back off and only really shitty decks are going to make advantage of it. Honestly, it's probably fine. Nobody's ever going to play the card again anyway. But I do think it was a bullshit card to begin with. So if it had stayed banned, I probably wouldn't care. And then next we got Firewall Dragon, the card that we know is seeing an errata, and technically it's still banned, which is kind of crazy. Uh, when you think about it that way, it's not usually that we see something like this happen, but Firewall is back to three. Now, those of us who lived through Firewall Dragon have a bit of goosebumps about the idea of dealing with it again, but the errata does make it a fairly reasonable card in my opinion. Honestly, it's not really going to do anything in the format. So if you have been living under a rock and you weren't aware, the errata is there, and therefore the card is not really what it was before. So I think Fireball to 3 is, I guess, fine. I don't, honestly still don't see it doing anything. But there is a little part of me that worries that it could end up being bullshit again. Next up, we have Bardish to 3. This one is a big hurrah, and is very much making me feel like I might want to play PK Fire next format. Why the hell not? Rusty Bardish to 3, honestly, I don't really don't think it's going to do anything crazy. Uh, it, the, the idea of it, again, is one of those ones where it's like, oh, fuck me, this could be crazy, but honestly... It probably isn't going to do anything. Deloran has gone to three as well. This was one that I expected to happen. I believe this has had an errata that came in the freezing chain structure deck. I may have got that one wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's been errata now, so it's not as crazy and as bullshit as it was before. So absolutely fine to see that go to three. Ignis the Prominence, I feel like, is one of those cards that was a problem of yesteryear, and honestly, I don't think it's going to do anything in this format. So seeing it come off to three, really, in my mind, is just not a problem at all. Rank Up Magent, Argent Chaos Force, I think that this is one of the problem cards with Zexal, if I'm not mistaken, I may have got that one wrong. I'm not overly familiar with the card because it's basically been banned the entire time that I've played. Or at least since I returned to the game. So this going off to three really doesn't make a damn bit of difference. And then the final one is a card that I did have an opinion on. And uh, I'm kind of glad to see it happen. Yes, we all hate True Draco. I get it. I get it. I get it. But True King's Return to three is absolutely fine. It's still not going to make True Draco a viable deck for the format. Honestly, as long as Diagram is at one and Masterpiece is banned, that deck is going to do absolutely nothing apart from cheese some wins at regionals with a ton of floodgates. But honestly, if you're the kind of player that wants to play a rogue deck that just cheeses wins out, there's really much better options out there than True Draco. So in terms of what happened on the list, honestly, I don't think that any of this was wrong. I don't disagree with any of it, quite frankly. Union Carrier maybe being the only one, but that was bound to happen eventually anyway. Now, I would have liked to have seen Konami get a bit more creative and take cards off, but I guess in their mind the remote duels are a really valid way of playing this game at the moment, and I appreciate that fully. There are a lot of people who are really enjoying them. It's been taken very seriously by a lot of top players. And we're seeing a really big abundance of tournaments going on that people are really enjoying taking part of. Now, unfortunately, we'll hopefully see organized play return in a physical sense sooner rather than later. So they're probably preempting the fact that we are going to end up back at tournaments across the board as a whole over the next few months. And so, of course, they don't want to do anything too wacky in case it disrupts that balance. And the fact that they are host hosting these remote duels gives them a valid basis on which to base the format changes on. So I guess keeping all of this in mind, those less creative changes that I would like to see happen not happening is really not that big an issue. Honestly, I think overall the list is absolutely fine. Again, I would really have liked to see some more stuff come off. But the rest of the changes, the changes that have happened, are absolutely fine. But that is all for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming along. I do appreciate you being here. At the time of recording, there is a giveaway on the channel. You should go ahead and check that video out if you want to get your hands on some freezing chain structure decks. I'll put a link on the screen for those of you who are not aware of it. You can go check out that video, see how you can get involved. Time is running out, though, so make sure you go ahead and check it out as soon as you possibly can. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video by virtue of the fact that you made it this far into the video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it enough to hit subscribe and the notification bell, or at least hated it enough that you couldn't possibly look away. But in either case, thank you very much for joining me. I do really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.